All right, brothers and sisters, friends, family, how are you guys doing? Much love to everybody out there. I just wanted to give you guys a little tour of this PDF, this Yah's Scriptures, the brand new translation of Scriptures that is out there. That is the full restored names Hebrew, um, Paleo Hebrew. It comes, it restores the name of our Creator and it restores the name of His Son, and it is an amazing read. And so I want to give you guys a um, portrait. Um, tour of Yah's scriptures and as you can see this is the front cover and um, this is the basis of it and this is actually the smallest reading that you guys will actually see on this um, is the intros because it's spaced out for like a bigger version of it but this is what it is it's the translation of the scriptures uses is a number of words and names that may be unfamiliar to some the name of our creator Yahuwah known as the Tetragrammaton, is rendered using the ancient Hebrew letters yad He wav He in the Dead Sea Scrolls. The practice of copying the scriptures into modern Hebrew was applied by the scribes, while the name of Yahuwah was rendered in the Paleo-Hebrew script, Yahuwah. This English translation uses the same script throughout. It is believed to be the form used by himself, Yahuwah himself, when he gave the commandment in stone to Moshe. All right, and so what we have here is we have the name of our Hamashiach, and um, this is the name of Messiah, which means Yah is salvation, is spelled in Hebrew, Yah, He, Wav, Shin, Ein, spoken and spelled similar to Yahoshua. The successor of Moshe is also rendered in the Paleo-Hebrew script, Yahoshua, throughout the renewed covenant. And so that is the name of our creator and the name of his uh, son. There were no J's in Hebrew. And so when we end up with the name Jesus or God, those are not correct. And so we want to get the naming as close to, as possible in all of this. And so here's a pronunciation guide throughout these scriptures right here. And you can see them because there's a lot of different words. And as you can see, things um, like with a, a what we call a funky H. And I'm sure there's actual proper name for this. But it's, it's a ch sound. Right. And so when you see that, all of the names that are in these scriptures are have been restored back to the to what they were originally or as close as they possibly could um, in our English language that is is bringing it back. And so a lot of these things like you can see within Genesis, these are the names that we are all familiar with right here. And everyone knows Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy. But these aren't the actual names that they, they were is Bereshith, Shemoth. Weikra, Bemidar, and Deberium. And I'm sure I'm slaughtering those, and a lot of people would say them a lot better. But when you go to the pronunciation guide that was right above that, where you see things like Deberim, you can, you can see exactly what it's, it's talking about right here. And um, was it, it was a lowercase b, right? Deberim. No, it was funky b, big. But this is the, the sounding of it, is this right here. And so it's about Baha, so vet, like as in vet. So Devarim, Devarim is, is the probably the proper way to do it. So the cool thing about this PDF and um, all of the productions and all of the things that will be coming out of our little um, clan here is that you can click on any any side of these. If you want to click on Genesis, clicking on this will take you right to Genesis, to the very beginning of it. Um, now, one cool thing that um, since we are in Genesis right here. Let's take a little look at what this scripture looks like and what it actually says, how it reads. <clears throat> in the beginning, Elohim created the Shemaim and the earth. And the earth came to be formless and empty. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Ruach of Elohim was moving on the face of the waters. And Elohim said, let light come to be. And light came to be. And Elohim saw the light, that it was good. And Elohim separated the light from the darkness. And Elohim called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, day one. And Elohim said, let an expanse come to be in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. And Elohim made the expanse, and separated the waters which were under the expanse from the waters which were above the expanse, and it came to be so. And Elohim called the expanse Shemaim, and there came to be evening, and there came to be morning the second day. And Elohim said, let the waters under the Shamayim be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear. And it came to be so. And Elohim called the dry land earth and the collection of the waters he called seas. And Elohim saw that it was good. And Elohim said, let the earth bring. Okay, now I will let you guys continue on on this, but this is the reading of it. This is what it sounds like. 
Now, if you have a PDF viewer of any kind, you will notice now there are bookmarks in this. Now, since I am in bare sheath, I wanna go into Matthew. And so I click the bookmarks here and you can see the very top one is home. So if you want to go all the way to the top, you would go right there. Now, one second here. Now, if you want to go home, like I was saying, sorry for the interruption there, um, you would just click home. Now, I want to go down to, into Matthew. And so Matthew in this is Matthew Yahoo. And if you didn't know what Matthew was, you would need to go to the home and then go down into the index so you could figure it out. Some of these names are a little bit different, but this is what Matthew looks like right there. And it, here it begins. The genealogy of Yahushua Hamashiach, Ben of Dawid, Ben of Abraham. Abraham brought forth Yitchak, and Yitchak brought forth Yaakov, and Yaakov brought forth Yahuda and his brothers. And Yahuda brought forth Peretz and Zarak by Tamar, and Peretz brought forth Ketzron, and Ketzron brought forth Ram. And Ram brought forth Amnadad, and Amnadad brought forth Nakshon, and Nakshon brought forth Salmon, and Salmon brought forth Boaz by Rechab, and Boaz brought forth Oved and by Ruth, and Oved brought forth Yeshai. Okay, now as you can see, it takes us all the way here, and this is the read, and you can basically, it's, it's, an, it's a beautiful read, right? You just run right through this. These are all the pages, and I don't know if there is a scriptures out there that isn't a single column read like this. And so it makes it very, very nice, very, very useful. Now I wanna take you also to a, a quick look into the book of Revelations here. And actually before we go into Revelations, let's take a quick look at the glossary, the weights and measurements and the maps. And so the maps is very, very cool. Um, it is just basically the maps of everywhere over in Yisrael that we're talking about. and. Um, times before the flood, after the flood, all of these kind of things. There's a lot of stuff in here. And so um, those are all there. And also the weights and measurements, because in these scriptures, these scriptures, it talks about things like um, uh, shekels and garaz and um, kesith, all of these different things. And so those are all right there. So when you guys run into those, you guys can definitely find them um, and, and just go right to them at the bottom. There's also a glossary, and the glossary is, is super, super cool. And a lot of people, you know, we, ha we have the stars of the show right here. The, 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 the most important one of all, the, the reason that we are all here and the reason that you guys are reading this free of charge is, is because we love our creator and we love his son. And we have been given salvation. We have been given the Torah. We've been given the scriptures as a gift. And most people in this world don't even know them, don't even understand them, don't want to read them, don't care about them. And we are trying to encourage everybody out there that these are the greatest things ever. And so if you apply them to your life and find this kingdom road, there is something more than just this rigmarole of a world that we are in right now. And so the king, the, the king of the show, the star of the show is Yahuwah. And we have his son who is our savior. He is the, the, the one and only who is, came and, and walked the Torah perfectly for us and put it down for us. And he gave it to us freely. And his instructions were always to give this away. People need to know this. People need to know that there is more to a world to come than simply raising your hand at eight years old and thinking you are saved. And you will not find that unless you start reading the stuff. And so here's a glossary of all the stuff like this. And this is really super cool right here because um, when you just see the word Lord, that's lowercase like this, the, the translation of Lord is actually Baal. And so for everybody who knows who Baal is, right, that's the, the demon god that everybody offers their babies to and Moloch and one of the, you know, they're, they're, they're just, a, it's a, a demon god. And so this um, names um, glossary here, right here, will bring all that to fruition so that you guys understand why this version of scriptures is so much different than any other scriptures that you will see out there at all. And it's been cleaned up a lot. The original source was from the Hallelujah Scriptures and their original source was from the Institute for Scripture Research. And so um, between all of these versions, we have cleaned this up tremendous. We have been through this stuff and we have, we've been looking through this very, very, very tightly trying to make sure it is a very, very good version. And we now are um, in the final stages of producing other versions of this. We're going to be producing a, a dual column um, that is uh, about half the size of this stuff. And um, it's just like regular Bibles read. And then there will be other stuff. And the Google app will be out very soon as well. And so this is the book of Revelation. And so this is how it actually reads in part of this tour here. 
revelation of Yahushua HaMashiach, which Elohim gave him to show his servants what had to take place with speed, and he signified it by sending his messenger to his servant Yochanan, who bore witness to the word of Yahuwah and the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach to all he saw. Baruch is he who reads and those who hear the words of this Nebuah and guard what was written in it, for the time is near. Okay, then it continues on, and you guys can see all of this, and, um, you know, as we we give you guys just a little bit of a tour, um, I want to take you to, to one of my favorite verses here, which is, is Revelations 12, 14, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, again, why we are here, and, you know, important things that we should all know, and, uh, or is it 14, 12? It's actually 14, 12. There we go, right there. 14, 12. This is... Um, Again, this is a an amazing verse right here, and this is what we should all be doing. Here is the endurance of the Kadeshim. Here are those guarding the commands of Yahuwah and the belief of Yahushua. Now, for those who do not know what the commands are, the commands are found in the first five books of the scriptures. Right? If you go into Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, these are the books that tell us how we should live, how we should behave, what our creator wants, what his heart, mind, and soul looks like, what it looks like for us when we are dwelling with him, for us being a part of his kingdom. And so when you take these books and you write them on your heart, mind, and soul, and you make them part of your life, then you will understand the kingdom walk. And the kingdom walk is for people who are called the house of Yisrael. Those are people who obey and are in covenant with our creator and keep these laws that are found in Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And so this will end the tour right here. I'm going to show you guys exactly here in just a second how you can get this free app. It's absolutely free. There's a link in the description of wherever you find this. There's a link right below it. Click on this. It's under 13 megs is the PDF version of it. You can send it to people via email. You can open it up. It opens up on any computerized device, anything that, that reads PDFs, which is nearly everything these days. And so um, this is this is free of charge. Everything is completely free of charge. I ask that you guys will share this with other people. Show people the love of our creator. Hopefully it will be used and fruit will be born because of this. And so let me take you into where you can get this. All right, everybody. So download location one if you don't get it out of the description. If you want to get it any other time, it's at the yahooandthetorah.net website. And at the yahooandthetorah.net website, there's a spot at the top, if you're looking at this in the web mode, that just says downloads. If you're on a mobile device, it's something like this. It'll pop open and you'll see downloads right here. You click on downloads and under downloads, you're gonna find a huge array of scriptures that you will not find anywhere else. Now, this is what we have right here. We have Yah scripture, single column first, edition right here um, and we have also replaced the Yahoo scriptures version 2 below with this one because it is much cleaner much snappier and then when we have version 2 when we have our dual column we'll replace this Hallelujah scriptures version 2 with ours as well which will actually be version 3 um, okay and so that is that and so this is the Yahoo scriptures right there basically grab it download it you can get it anywhere also we've set up a website called yahscriptures.com and um, it, it, it talks a little bit about our, our scriptures. It talks a little bit about um, everything that we have here. And it is, um, it is what we will be using to get people updates. And so when we'll definitely have a lot of updates. And so what we would like to encourage anybody on the way out of here is that if anybody has a, um, if anybody has a finding where you guys find that there's any kind of issues at all in anything, whether there's a jot out of place or there's a tittle out of place or there's anything out of place, get that over to us. You can email that to us at jboss008 at gmail.com. Again, that's jboss008 at gmail.com. And we would, we'd like to hear. We're always going to be fluently updating anything that we find, any kind of mistakes. We will get our all of our productions updated, everything out free of charge. And so there is going to be a hard copy version of this that a sister is going to be putting up online very, very soon. And it will be available on amazon.com in the single line form as well. I have no idea what the cost will be on that. Um, this has nothing to do with us. We are not doing this. Every production that we put out is absolutely free, including the Google app, which was uh, will be out 100, hopefully very, very soon. Hopefully this week, we'll get to see a, a beta version of this. 
and um, it is absolutely free. It has been funded by the hands of people who are y'all loving people. And again, for everybody that donated to that Andro Android app, thank you guys very, very much. And thank you guys to everybody who's, who's taken a, a part of this tour, taking a look at these scriptures. I hope these enhance your life. I hope you guys read them. I hope you guys find uh, something in them, right? And they are the guide to life. And if you use them, they, will be, they could be your guide to life. So much love to everybody out there. Have a wonderful day. Description, links, all that are in the descriptions. Much love.